Greetings. This is a planetary alignment and earthquake watch for the 28th and 29th of July 2012. We're looking at an animated view of the featured alignment of Mercury, Earth and Sun. We're now looking at the July ephemeris where we see the main celestial influences come from Mercury towards the end of the month as it moves in between the Earth and the Sun. And having a look, we also see that Uranus is also at 5 degrees during this time frame and also may play a role on these days. We're now looking at solar system scope where we see that the main influence on these days is the Earth-Mercury-Sun alignment which is a very powerful one and also needs to be monitored closely. Looking for other celestial influences there's not much to report. We do have some near alignments but nothing of significance. So we need to have a look at a chart and have a look astrologically to see if there's any other influences that may enhance and contribute to the energies on this day. We're now looking to see if we get more information looking at a chart and having a look at this astrologically. And we do see that on the 29th when Mercury makes the alignment between Sun and the Earth, it also trines the Moon and also Uranus which is significant. Now the Moon is opposite Jupiter while sextiling Mars and Neptune is squaring Jupiter and the Moon during the day will cross the North Node. So I feel these will enhance the significance of this day and may produce a 7 magnitude earthquake. I'm now going to plot a map of region I feel will be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on planetary positions and also lunar modulation. Now the region of New Zealand has been affected with the Earth Sun Mercury alignment in the past and that is of concern. But this time round, I do believe that the Auckland Islands will be the main area of focus, and that's just south of New Zealand, or towards the Macquarie Islands region. The charts used in this video are provided by two fine astrologers. Their contact information and links will be in the description box and on this page. And for more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.